When I heard that World Trumper Queen was getting a new expression variant for 2023, I was really excited. It means that we didn't have to deal with this dead toyish like World Trumper Queen anymore, and we can get a World Trumper Queen that actually looked like World Trumper Queen in the show, and this one will be discontinued. But when the diecast came out, a lot of people weren't too happy because it was just a straight on expression with just slightly different eyes and a mouth. It wasn't like it wasn't like Mato where his whole body basically changed it. He's more raised up, he has a way more expressive expression compared to this Mato here. And many people thought McQueen would be the same, but no, he just has a straight on expression. That is still actually very expressive though. Like I've think a lot of people warmed up to this McQueen as the months went by, and people have begun to appreciate it more. Now, I, well, I didn't know that they were gonna be putting these two alongside each other. I thought this one would be discontinued, but nope, they're gonna be, they're gonna be pretty much putting them in the same cases together, and it's like, well, why? I mean, you could have just not done this, and you, you could have just come out with this one at the beginning. Why did you have to make this McQueen, and a few months later change it to this? Mattel will always never fail to confuse me sometimes. But hello everyone, welcome back to another review here on the channel, and today we will be taking a look at the 2023 variant of Road Trip Lady McQueen. So let's just go over the release since it's, I mean, he did appear in Cars on the Road, which, I mean, which you all already know I bet, so we don't have to talk about his appearance, but his releases. So he was first released, well, this variant was first released in 2023 Singles KC alongside the new 2023 Road Trip Mato. This is such a good pairing, guys. I'm really, really happy that we got these new expression variants, and especially Mato. Mato needed like a new revamped uh, variant because this one was not Road Trip Mato. It was just the same exact Mato, but just in special packaging. I don't even know why they called this one Road Trip Mato. They could have just come up with this first, but I'm saving that for Mato's review because there's a lot to talk about on Mato. Oh, it's a McQueen. There's not too much. But anyways, yeah. Get back to the releases. So he was first released in 2023 Singles KC. And then he, she, he was also in the Ivy 3 pack on Amazon. Which is how I got mine. And I'm very happy that I waited. Because if I got the singles of Ultra McQueen and Mato. And then I got the Ivy 3 pack. I would have had duplicates. And I usually try to avoid those. So I'm glad I didn't find them in stores. <laughs> but anyways, enough of all that mumble jumble. Let's get on to the actual review. So as you can see, he has this kind of weird expression, like, Why well, Mato, are you sure we should be doing this? I mean, it was like, shoot, booty, I always want to go faster than fast. Sorry, for that whole Mato impression, like, I can't do it. <laughs> now, you can see his headlights still here, are very nice, although mine seem to be a little misplaced. You can see a little bit of the gaps where they missed the punch mark, so that's not very good. Okay, yeah, I, was, I thought he had a chip on the side for a second, but no, it was just this gas cap. But other than that, he has the same logos and like decals as this 2022 variant, which we'll pull up right now. See the On The Road logo. Mm. I'd say this one looks a little better. His eyes are different, the mouth is different, and he actually he is actually a little longer. I don't know if you all can see. It, yeah, this one is slightly longer, so technically it's an entirely new mold because of the mouth. It's like, kind of fluctuating alongside his cheeks, which is kind of cool. And his hood is way more defined on this 2023 variant, whereas the 2022 one, you can't even see the hood. So I like this one a little bit more. Yeah, same lightning bolt on the sides, gas cap, nothing on the spoiler, nothing on the roof. We have the small 95 on the right taillight. This is, oh, on the left of the, the right taillight. Hmm. Words confusing sometimes. This is the 2023 variant. Yep, this is the 2023 variant. And I will say, this one looks a little bit readable. This one, mm, I mean, they're both good. I think I like this one a little bit more, though. The size is the same. And here is the base SO9A versus R20A. That's pretty cool. Made in Thailand. Hmm, different text. It's interesting. This pixel logo seems to be moved. Wait. Is it any pixel logo even on here? Oh yeah, there it is. It's just on top of the bay for some reason instead of usually being up here near the exhaust pipes. And of course, he does have the um, punch holes in the back, so the new Mater with working tow hook can tow him. I have that one right here, and look at that. Works like a charm. 
pretty cool. And just as a quicker person, I do want to confirm the first Rhyme McQueen because he has pretty much the same IX version, just flipped pretty much. But yeah, I mean, this is just the comparison with the eyes. He really is not thing similar to this World Trip McQueen. But I just wanted to show the expression. And yeah, that about does it for World Trip McQueen, the 23 variant. A little bit of a shorter review, but there's not much to talk with him. He's really the same, just for a new expression. But I prefer more with the 23 variant. And if you're gonna decide which World Trip McQueen to get, get this one. Just skip this one and just get this one. It's much more expressive and you can use it in a lot of photography shots, like I've been doing. So, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content. See you all next time. Until then, this is Joe QuickTayo, signing out.